Rowan, I want to cast your mind back to the 23rd of April 2022. Ipswich Jets 32, North Devils 36. And 24th of September, you're going to be leading Leeds Rhinos out in a Super League Grand Final. Has it quite struck you yet, that journey that you've been on? Uh, maybe, maybe, you know, for moments it has. Um, you know, I loved every minute of what I was doing there at North and that day was special. Uh, the way that we won that game was right on the bell and, uh, you know, the players were doing their best to sort of send me on my way with a win, which was, uh, which was nice. But it's been a great journey, you know, to that, to that match. Uh, and then the start of the next journey at North, uh, here at Leeds has been, um, yeah, phenomenal, really. Um, yeah, really enjoyable. What have the kind of key cornerstones of this turnaround been in your run of form in the last few months? Uh, I, th I think playing together and, and really having a sense of calmness around what we're doing. Um, we do try and move the ball and, and play a little bit at times, but regardless of the situation of the game, we've just a sense of unity and teamwork and and just being calm with whatever the situation is amongst all the chaos, just trying to stay focused on, on the play at hand. Um, well, the situation at hand has really been probably the biggest thing that we've improved and, and embraced. You've been involved in, well, a few, but in the last two weeks, two dogfights, one in Catalan, and then a really tough game against Wigan last weekend. Has that kind of hardened your armour a little bit coming into St Helens? Yeah, well, the opposition have been playing, you know, big games for years on hand, so they, they've, they're they obviously experienced at that aspect of it. We've, we've been playing sudden death for weeks and months. We've had some other tough games against Warrington and Huddersfield and cast to get in you know we were we were all but gone so the resilience of the group has been shown through you know the the turbulence of the season and you know perhaps that's helped galvanize and and strengthen us ready for this biggest occasion but you've got a little bit of card shuffling to do in terms of the absences of caesar and newman and gannon but when you look at some players like richie myler confident in a number of positions the same as zach hardacre is that vers versatility of your squad perhaps one of your biggest strengths yeah, I believe so. And, you know, doing my research before I came over here, I understood there was some versatility in the group. And then, you know, Zach Hardake has really added to that as well. He's done a fantastic job at centre, but, um, you know, he's a great fullback by, by trade as well. So that's added another dimension to our, our versatility uh, with the, the number of, you know, injuries and suspensions that the club's had. It's been imperative, really, to, to have that versatility. And uh, it's it's helped helped keep us together really that that those guys are uh, particularly you know Richie playing so well in the halves at times as well has been great for us. Hey, you've had a good opportunity to have a look around this place today you're looking forward to being part of the atmosphere and occasion on Saturday? Yeah I've been here a few times as a, as a, a young man and even as a, as a kid way back when but um, yeah nothing quite like uh, being part of it as far as uh, being a coach um, you know I'm excited by it it's a cracking amazing venue you get goosebumps walking in here with no one in it, so I'm excited by um, the 60,000 plus that are going to be here. It's going to be a privilege. This has probably come sooner, this grand final, than you'd hoped it would. Uh, even if you do win on Saturday night, will there still be a sense of the journey and the, the kind of the, the path that you're on to establish this team, not just as one-time winners, but, you know, serial champions again? Yeah, I think coaching, for me, coaching's a journey. Um, you know, I was sitting on the bus with a couple of guys uh, last year after we won the final at, with the Norse Devils and we were talking about next year and playing better and that's just sort of who I am by nature. I feel like there's always a, um, you know, better is always ahead, but it's a reminder for myself to sort of stay present and enjoy this moment. Um, that's all this one's about. I think the club can do great things, you know, in the years to come, but you know, we can't waste time thinking about that stuff. We, we've got to be here and now and, and enjoy this opportunity against St. Helens. Well, best of luck and enjoy it. Thank you very much.